Now I am reviewing Dodgeball. The true underdog story. I'm not going to add that. It's basically about two guys that are in a rivalry. One is a multi-millionaire. It's kind of lazy. His dad, big inheritance, and he owns a gym called Globo Gym. He thinks he's better than everyone. He thinks fat people are horrible. And then there's the other guy who's average, pretty much. He owns a gym called Average Joe's. And it's going under. And Tim and his little buddies that work there need a job. And so, and then there's this banker girl, that the one that tells them. And they both like her. And, of course, Ben Stiller's crazy character is really weird. Tries to date her and does this really weird scene in his house where he says the most ridiculous things to tell, to try to make her date him. And obviously they fail. And then it goes on. I'm going to spoil the movie, so I'll give you ten seconds to turn it off. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Okay, one what? It's your problem if you're going to spoil this movie. Uh, and then they go to a dodgeball tournament, and he kind of gets... They win a qualifying match, but by disqualification, because actually the part's pretty funny. I won't get that away. And then they go to the tournament, go to the finals, and play Gobo Gym. And... It's an intense match. It goes to a, like, shootout or something. He throws the ball. Ben Stiller does. And he, the guy blindfolds himself. And he dodges it and it goes right over his head like that. He picks it up and nails Ben Stiller's character in the face. And then he gets all angry. And the win price is $50,000. So he saves his gym. That Dwight couldn't have won it. And... He put a hundred that he signed it over the night before for a hundred thousand dollars, and then he bought he put it on a, them to win, and it was fifty to one, and then he bought out and he got five million dollars, so he bought out White Jim, fired him, and then at the end of the movie we got to see him admit his defeat of weighing six hundred pounds and sitting on the couch, Ben Stiller's character. So we you know who won that battle. It's like a 7 out of 10. Not horrible. Not amazing. Probably decent movie. But not nothing amazing here. So that's my review on Dodgeball.